brings my beautiful IP Resilience family. So that's the great day to start the day because I have in front of me like very special guest. The special guest is from the different country and she's going to explain and introduce herself. So right now in front of me, I have Dr. Shaoli and she's a passionate academician. She's the global thought leader and an internationally acclaimed inspirational speaker. So greetings to you, Dr. Shaoli. How are you? Yeah, thank you so much. I'm doing great. And I, I, I hope that you are doing fine as well. So you achieved so many things in the platform. So you achieved like, a, you know, you're passionate, you know, academician. So you're a global thought leader. So tell us, tell all of us, how did you got to this journey? And what was your journey looked like to get where you are? Because I want your story to inspire and empower somebody else who is watching us right now. So if they have ideas, if they have inspiration, so they will get up and they will do it. So we want to know about this journey. Sure. So it would be my pleasure to share, uh, you know, snippets of my life's journey. And if it can really inspire somebody, I mean, it, it would be really great. So it all started, you know, uh, 23 years back. So when I stepped into the profession of teaching. So let me tell you that this is something that I always wanted to do. In fact, I'm a person who is intrinsically motivated to touch, to inspire, and to impact the lives of many around me through the ennobling power of education. So I'd always wanted to be an educator, and I'm a kind of a person who had actually, you know, turned her passion into her profession. So for me, uh, it has been a conscious intersection between what I had always wanted to do and what I was good at doing. So I would rather say that I'm extremely grateful to the universe, uh, you know, which had actually given me this opportunity to manifest things in such a wonderful and spectacular manner. So when I say it all started, uh, you know, 23 years back when I had stepped into the teaching profession with a dream of, you know, touching people's lives and, uh, to create a real difference uh, in the world around me. You know, when I started teaching, I started teaching in a, in, in a very reputed international school. But then day in and day out, I started becoming, you know, frustrated with the ways things were being done at the, those point of time. You know, so the more I entered into that field and each and every day I started feeling so the kind of things that we had been doing are absolutely wrong. That is not how education should be. I'm sure you would agree to the fact that our conventional educational norms force our young learners to metaphorically draw and color within the lines. That is to comply, to conform and to compete where every single learner is given the same amount of time to learn the same thing in the same way and preferably on the same day. So it's no wonder that these little kids who are brimming with energy, who are brimming with creativity and an innovative spark, you know, they are really struggling to realize their true potential. So with each and every passing day, you know, being a part of that uh, redundant and obsolete uh, system of education, I started feeling that uh, we are actually doing a disservice to these kids. So our education, actually our system of education needs a complete redefinition, a complete reimagination, a complete transformation. And even till date, I feel that nothing short of a revolution is going to work for our current education system. So with that particular thought, you know, that acted as a strong trigger, uh, you know, in my life. And I really wanted to do something very, very different to bring about a shift, a paradigm shift in the way education was delivered. And ultimately that led to me uh, establishing the first STEM school in uh, the West Bengal region of India, and which was eventually awarded as the second best international day school in the entire West Bengal region of India. So that school had been created with those thought patterns to create a real difference in the lives 
of uh, the students of the 21st century, a kind of a school but the happiness quotient of the children was so high and you know, with no standardized tests, with no standardized textbooks, with no standardized form of curriculum, but a completely experiential learning activity and child-centric uh, you know, system of education. So, well, uh, in retrospect, when I look back, I feel that uh, you know, those dark days, which had given me sleepless nights, had actually enabled me to create something you know, which is, uh, you know, in a way, it has been a spectacular thing. Wonderful congratulations on your achievements. It looks like, you know, you really connected with the universe and, you know, put your dreams and trusted your dreams to, to the, you know, to, uh, to this force, to this passion, so you'll be able to transform this world. So I like what you said, that you transform people's passion into the profession. You know, you like to use, you know, their knowledge into transforming them into something that they can be. And you really revolutionize your, the way that we approach the, our education system. And like I said, everybody is being measured by the same measurement, but we are all unique in our own way. Yes, I remember, you know, being um, also evaluated as a kid for the kindergarten position, you know, was giving the pencil in my hand and was asked like as everybody else to draw the square, to draw the triangle, to draw the circle, to see if I'm in line because I am very creative person. So for me to draw, it, it's boring. So I needed more time. I needed more energy for this. I passed, but still, you know, I did it because I had to do it, not because it was something me. And my son and I were just learning about the new ways for for education ourselves so we're trying to discover what our education are hiding from us what they don't want us to learn and what we need to focus so we can grow because he says that mom I don't you know schools are teaching us to get a job I don't want to get a job I want to have a profession I want to follow my dreams I want to become who I want to become schools don't teach that they stop us they don't want us to grow but this is his evaluation being you know in a as greater to share about this. So I love your approach, how you approach individuals in a different level and actually, you know, really trying to find their true uh, skills, their true uh, values, their true talent, because we are not happy unless we're fulfilled. We, would, we don't want to be measured with the same measurements like everybody else. So I commend you for what you do. We need more of you. We need more schools like you have created with the STEMs that will uh, transform their passions into professions. And that's why we need you. So uh, while we are approaching 2022, I want you to share your dream and your vision for this year. What do you want to accomplish for yourself and put out there your global vision so we all can hear. And I know it will all come. Yeah. Uh with the advent of another new year, I would say that, uh, you know, that gives uh, all of us a fresh opportunity to start all over again and to start thinking on new lines. But having said so, you know, what I feel is that every new day is in fact a new opportunity for all of us. It's not only about a new year, new year, which is coming, uh, but I think with every, each and every new day, with each and every morning, so, you know, uh, I'm a strong believer in the concept of Ikigai, which is a Japanese concept, uh, which is the reason for being. So if you have that, I mean, if you have really found out your Ikigai or the reason for your being, you know that why you are actually getting up from your bed every morning with that kind of a strong passion and that strong urge to create a real difference. You know, so if you really have that, then I believe that each morning brings a ray of new hope. But in fact, along with that, immense potentiality to touch people's lives. In fact, as an educator, since I'm an educator, I deal with students on a day-to-day -day basis. I mean, I consider myself to be so very, uh, you know, fortunate. And I'm so, you know, grateful for this kind of an opportunity that I am in. Uh, a kind of a profession for the last 23 years where I get the rare opportunity of touching 
uh, the students' lives in manifold manner uh, each and every passing day. So I consider myself very, very fortunate. So I would continue, uh, I would love to continue doing kind of work that I have been doing. So well, 20, whether it's 2022 or it's 2030 or it's 2040, whatever it is, I would just love to continue the kind of work that I have been doing. And I strongly believe that if you are a kind of a person who is purpose driven and you have your you know, purpose, um, you can see your purpose, you can see your vision very strongly and very clearly, your purpose actually acts as a strong magnet to pull people towards your vision. So you really don't have to do much. I mean, you really don't have to do much. You know, people get attracted to your vision. They flock around you and then, you know, wonderful journey of success commences. So it all starts from your mindset. It all starts from your intentions, how noble your intentions are and uh, how dedicated you are actually to create a real difference, uh, you know, around you. So it all starts from there, I feel. I agree what you said about start with your intentions, because sometimes people need to really dig through, dig really deep about their intention. Why? Why do they want to do what they want to do? And I have also studied the Ikigai method about finding, you know, the true passions. And it completely changed my perspective about what my true passion with, with what I was doing, actually. So this was a great method for to walk up you know, to really do the inventory about what you love to do, what makes you happy, what would you like to put your mind and soul and effort into something, what, what really transforms your life. So I really love what you do. You're transforming the life. You're putting the new way for education and keep educating it, Dr. Shaul. We are so blessed to have you on our platform that will help and transform people's life. And thank you guys for being with us. That was Ilona from IP Resilience. I want you to stay tuned. And I also want you to put your dreams into perspective. This year is going to be your year. And remember, when you have a great attentions, people are going to draw to your dreams. God bless you guys. Bye. <laughs>